the Beretta Model 81 in 32 ACP. Let's check it out. Beretta started the Model 81 series in 1976 in 32 ACP. It was also called the Cheetah. Uh, and then it came out in 22 and 380 ACP. John Browning developed the 32 ACP in 1899. And because it became so popular, more firearm companies designed a pistol for the 32 ACP than any other caliber. Now over the past 75 years, the 32 ACP has really lost a lot of popularity to the 380 ACP because of its ballistics and because of you know the really the size of the 380 has gotten very small but this is a great piece for a collector it's still a viable self-defense round with the right loads this little model 81 is in excellent condition now this is actually an Italian police trade-in and I got this through classic firearms and I want to thank Ben for sending the little cheetah in 32 ACP for this test and evaluation Okay, let's safety check the pistol, drop our magazine. It is 12 and 1 of 32 ACP. For 380 ACP, it's 13 and 1. And then we're gonna bring back the slide and the gun is empty. Now this is a double single action pistol and that means that the trigger actuates the hammer with the hammer down. And so you'll notice that when we pull the trigger, the hammer comes back. It's a long, heavy pull, but it's smooth, very smooth. And subsequent shots will come back and then your hammer will be in the rear position. And that's a really fast, quick follow-up shot. And it's one of the things that you need to be aware of if you ever shoot a double single action pistol. These are really high quality made and very sought after for a long time. In fact, these are still being made in, by Beretta in Italy and in Europe and sold throughout Europe. Uh, but for the U.S. market, 32 ACP has really waned over the past number of years. A lot of that has to do just with the availability and the ballistic advantage of the 380 ACP. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. But these come with uh, black plastic grips, but they can also sometimes have wood grips as well. Beautiful bluing on here with Pietro Beretta. It says 7.65 caliber. Uh, and that is 32 ACP made in Italy. Here on the other side, it says Model 81. Uh, and then, of course, the Model 84 was the 380 ACP. You'll also notice this kind of a straw color on some of the parts. And that has a lot to do with the manufacturing processes back then. It is not a defect. Uh, a lot of the Beretta pistols during this time had that. And it's just really high quality, actually. It's just the way they produced them. Uh, but the bluing is really fine. I've got the open barrel design, just like your 92. Uh, and of course, very reminiscent of that Beretta look. Now, Beretta makes a number of different type pistols. And this is actually, of course, the 92. And it's just the standard 92S. This is an original, older design. And the magazine release is down here at the bottom. Uh, and of course, a lot of things have been improved since that time. This is your Model 84, which is the 380 ACP. And guys, to be honest, they are pretty much the same pistols. They just use a different magazine, have a different barrel. And there may be a few other parts, but pretty much these are both Cheetahs. And it's just two different calibers of the same pistol. Now, one comparison that I really wanted to do is to take the Model 84 and 380 ACP and the Model 32 and just do a little bit of handling comparison with recoil. But to be honest with you guys, 380 ACP is definitely far superior than your 32 ACP. In fact, at this point right now, I believe there's only four different companies in the U.S. that offers a 32 ACP. And that's kel that's Seacamp, also North American Arms, and then the Beretta Tomcat. 
Now here we have the Beretta Tomcat. You can see that the size has really gone down quite a bit. Uh, and this is just an excellent little small bulldog of a firearm. It does have the tip up barrel, which I really think is cool. Uh, and it makes it really easy to load, especially bypassing the problem that we've had with the safety and trying to drop that hammer. Now the Tomcat has a single stack magazine with seven rounds, but it's very concealable. And to be honest, this is made after the design of the Model 21, which is also a double action 22 or 25. And then we have the no longer produced Model 950. Now this one is in 22 short. I have it also in 25 ACP. This is one of my favorite little mouse guns. Now they do make these also in a single stack model. In fact, this is the model 81. The 82 is a 32 ACP with a single stack eight round magazine or seven round magazine. And so this is just the hand filling a little more of your higher capacity, which personally I really like. I love the way this feels in your hand. It's not that wide. I mean, it's got a good ergonomic feel to it. And with 32 ACP, it's really easy to shoot. Now, I like the beaver tail area that comes up here because it gives you a good solid grip and yet you don't have to worry about hammer bite or slide bite. The magazine release is right behind the trigger guard, which is really preferable here in the States. And the mag release is switchable to the other side. While it does have a frame safety, it's ambidextrous, so it's a really nice feature, especially for a concealed carry piece. But one of the things interesting about the safety is you can engage it when the hammer is in the rear position. But we're gonna drop our magazine. I'm gonna bring the slide back and have the hammer in the rear position. Uh, this is a safety, it's not a decocker, and so it locks the trigger. And so if you're gonna drop this hammer, uh, you're gonna have to actually hold it like this and bring it down, which, you know, is a little bit on the dangerous side if your thumb slips. And so it's just one of the things about the design of this type pistol and really what a lot of pistols were designed around in many years ago. Now this is the pre-BB and the BB actually has a firing pin block built in. Uh, one way that you know that this the BB is the slide serrations come farther out. So there's just a longer row of slide serrations. With this one, it's short. So this is before the firing pin block. Also, they made what they call the F model, which had a squared off trigger guard. And this one, of course, you see has the round. Uh, but this is a very graceful pistol. It's very beautiful. And um, these have really come in nice. Uh, these were actually police trade-ins from the Italian police, from what I understand. But for years, 32 ACP was the dominant self-defense round in Europe and a lot of times here even in the United States. Still a lot of these handguns out there. The sights are dovetailed in and they're just blacked out. They have a notch. The front sight is actually built into the front of the slide. So you're not going to be able to change any of the sights out for anything. One thing I recommend is putting a little bit of tester's paint or nail polish on that tip if you're having a hard time seeing it. The grips have nice checkering on them, uh, but the back strap is smooth and the front strap. So, uh, of course, recoil is very light on these, but definitely you're not getting a lot of traction on this grip, even though it does feel really good in your hand. Here we're gonna drop the magazine, and uh, it's not beveled, so but the magazine is slightly beveled, so that really helps in inserting your magazines. Uh, one of the things about the magazines, though, guys, is they can be fairly difficult to find. You can find the 84 magazines for 380 ACP. In fact, Metgar makes them. Uh, but the only magazines I've found for these were on the Beretta website, and they're about 48 bucks. And so that is one thing to consider with this pistol. But if you're buying it as a collector piece and you just want the one magazine, uh, you're good to go. Okay, we're going to check the trigger pull action. And uh, it is double action, so when you're pulling it, super smooth starts to get a little bit heavy when you get there toward the end. Then when it comes to single action, uh, we have a little bit of take up and yet it's just free play right here. Very nice crisp break. Reset right there, really fast. And let's check our trigger pull weight with our Lyman trigger gauge from Brownells. We're gonna do double action first. Eight pounds, 9.6 ounces. Eight pounds, 10.5 ounces. So not too bad. A lot of times with double action, you get up to 10 pounds. Single action, three pounds, 6.4 ounces. Three pounds, 12.6 ounces. 
Now we're going to be shooting some PMC full metal jacket and jacketed hollow points and some privy partisans, some different stuff. Unfortunately, I didn't have any 32 in Fiocchi, but we do have 380 in Fiocchi, and we're going to be using it for the 380. Thirty-two ACP is so soft shooting, and I had forgotten how soft it was until I compared it directly with the 380 in the Model 84, and I shot them side by side. I mean, the recoil is a huge difference. Uh, with the 32 ACP, I mean, it's just really flat shooting. It's light. With the 380 ACP, which is really not a lot of recoil, uh, it definitely feels like somebody's <laughs> taking a small hammer and just hitting the inside of your hand once you have shot the model 81 and 32 uh, but it's still of that model 84 is a great little handgun i love it and i love shooting it but really if you want to get that really soft shooting uh, pistol uh, this is not much difference as far as recoil than a 22. and if you're wanting something to take to the range it has really low recoil that's just a solid pleasure to shoot this is the pistol i mean it's so smooth shooting and the recoil is so light you know, it's just a Beretta quality. So even the feel of the handgun, the action, it makes it nice. And so for first time shooters, or even in a self-defense role for females or those who have, you know, just haven't had a lot of experience and are very sensitive to recoil, I think this would be a great choice. And so uh, just good quality. And right now while they're coming in, guys, I'm telling you the price is just unbelievable. Now let's drop the magazine. Again, make sure the gun is unloaded and we're gonna break this pistol down. Now right here, you'll notice a small pin and you wanna push it in. And then as you're pressing it, go ahead and bring down your takedown lever, just like that. And then you can bring off your slide and barrel. Recoil spring and guide rod, just pull it out. Take your barrel and bring it out. This is a blowback design, and so it's different than your Model 92. You can tell by the way the setup is here. And then, of course, you have your recoil spring and guide rod, which is all steel. But that's really all you need to do to field strip. Just bring your barrel back in underneath. Recoil spring and guide rod. Now, when reinserting your guide rod, there's a smaller shelf underneath this groove. And so you want to go ahead and get it down inside that. And then as you bring your slide over your frame, uh, one thing you want to do is go ahead and bring your hammer back. It'll make it a little easier. The barrel has to be in the lock position. So we press from the other side and bring our lever. And you're ready to go. Um, but you just need to press this as the lever goes up. But this barrel has to be locked into place for that lever to actuate. So guys, if you're looking maybe to add to your collection, this is a really fine quality piece. Or maybe you just want to take it out to the range and shoot that low recoil 32 ACP. I mean, it is really a joy to shoot. And especially with Fiocchi ammo, which is very reasonable. And there's a lot of different self-defense choices out there as well. But one thing that I do want to recommend is check out Paul Harrell's video on 32 ACP. Is it a good or a suitable concealed carry option? And I'll have it linked right up here above. Uh, you know, 32 ACP is definitely not anywhere near 380 ACP but it can be effective if this is what you have and if this is what you're going to carry and the big thing is is shot placement but less recoil helps you to get that shot placement a lot easier than a heavier recoiled pistol uh, to me this is a much better option than let's say a 22 uh, you know long rifle or you know something or definitely a sharp stick but as far as really capable self-defense rounds, I personally really would rather have something like the 380, or even better yet, 9mm and above. And again, I want to thank Ben over at Classic Firearms for sending this little gem. Uh, it's been a pleasure, and I really love the quality, the feel, the shooting of this pistol. And, you know, Beretta makes some really fine handguns, especially back in the 70s and 80s, some of these designs that we're no longer seeing. It's just great to get a hold of some of these small pistols. And guys, just because it comes in at a low price does not mean that it matches the quality of this handgun. It's all about supply and demand. And these will sell out. And when they do, the price will go up. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic.
reasons why 32 was the first is because one of the reasons why 32 was the first was 12 and 1 in the magazine and man we got a hawkers we got a hawk back there <laughs> he's having a fit <laughs> Whatever he wants, I hope he gets it. <laughs> he must have gotten it.